Welcome to your 15th tutorial in Discrete Math 2. Today I'm going to talk about the generalization of inclusion and exclusion principle. And there are two things to consider. The first is exactly. So when you're asked exactly something, and the formula for that is em or e sub n is equal to s sub m minus m plus 1 choose 1 times s m plus 1 plus m plus 2 choose 2 times s m plus 2 and so on and so forth all right so let's take an example where m is equal to 2 and let's set our limit to 4 so n is 4 so we want exactly 2 and that will be equal to s of 2 minus um, 2 plus 1 3 choose 1 times s of 3 plus 2 plus 2 which is 4 choose 2 s of 4 minus make sure that every all the odd ones um, have a minus sign in front of them so minus 5 choose 3 of s 5 plus 6 choose 4 times s 6 and we're done since 6 is 2 plus 4 which is m plus n and that's where we stop all right, so that's the first um, case in generalization. Now the second is at least. So when you ask for at least, um, this is the formula for it. So you have L of m is equal to S m minus m choose m minus one times S m plus one plus m plus one choose m minus one. Notice that the lower term never changes. So it's always choose m minus 1. And that's something to keep in mind. And that's how I actually memorize it. Just know that m minus 1 is always at the bottom for at least. And just like the last case, if m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4, you just place um, the numbers in here. So let's have m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. So at least two objects will have s of 2 minus alright so 2 choose 1 times s of 3 plus now we have m plus 1 and that will be 3 choose 1 of s of 4 minus 4 choose 1 of s of 5 plus 5 choose 1 of s of 6. That's it. We're done. And notice the difference here between the first and the second is that the lower term never changes and the upper term it's always one less than the s. Alright, so let's take a look at an example. And here, if 13 cards are dealt from two standard decks of cards, what is the probability that we get exactly one void? So a void is um, not getting a whole suit. So let's say you have 13 cards and you have no diamonds. Alright, so you have first of all two standard decks of cards. That's 52 times 2. So you have 104 cards to choose from. Alright, and you want only 13. So you have 104, choose 13. That's your whole sample space. And this question is asking for the probability that we get exactly one void to 1. So m is 1. So e of 1 is equal to s of 1 minus 2 choose 1 of s2 plus 3 choose 2 of s3 minus 4 choose 3 of s4. Since we have 4 suits, that's it. Alright. So now we have to figure out what the S's are. So S1, S2, S3, and S4. Okay. So just like last tutorial, we're going to set up our cases. So let CI be the case where no. So if I is equal to 1, you have diamonds. If i is equal to 2, that will be hearts. 
if i is equal to 3 um that let that be spades and i is equal to 4 you'll have clubs so i is just arranged from 1 to 4 so case 1 uh, no diamonds appear case 2 no heart case 3 no spades and case 4 no clubs appear all right so now we're going to find n ci so n of ci. That will be the case that only one suit doesn't appear. If you have 104 cards in total and you subtract one suit, that will give you 104 minus 26 and that will be equal to 78. So you have 78 cards to choose from. to choose from. And since in the question we're um, dealing 13 cards, then you have 78, choose 13. And of course the CI can be anything. So you have four suits. So you have four choose one. Since we're only excluding one suit, you have four, four choose one ways of taking one suit. And 78 choose 13 ways of taking 13 cards. Alright, and that is equal to S1. Now we have our S2, so N, C, I, C, J. And that will be the same concept we, that we applied over here, but instead of one suit, you have two suits. So over here, you have two suits. And that will be 104 minus 52. And that will give you 52 cards to choose from. So over here you get 52, choose 13. And since we're dealing with two suits over here, you have 4 choose 2. So 4 choose 2 suits times 52 choose 13 cards. And that will be equal to our S2. Then we have C, I, C, J, and C, K. And here we're taking 3 suits. That will be 26, choose 13, times 4, choose 3. That will give us our S3. And that's exactly what we did in the last two um, cases. And then we have our S4 will be N, C, I, C, J, C, K, C, L. And that will be equal to 0, choose 13, times 4, choose 4. That will be equal to our S4. And this is just 0, so here we have 0. Alright, so now that we know where our S's are, you just plug them in to the equation. So if you just plug them in here, so S1, you plug this in. S2, you'll plug this in. S3, you'll plug that number in. And S4, you'll just plug in 0. Alright, so if you do that, you'll get E1 is equal to so S1, and that will be equal to 78, choose 13, times 4, choose 1. Now we're done with our S1. Minus 2, choose 1 of S2. So minus 2, choose 1, times S2. Here we have 52, choose 13, times 4, choose 2. Alright, plus... 3 choose 2 times S3, so over here. Alright, so you have 3 choose 2 times 26 choose 13 times 4 choose 3. And that will be minus 0. And that's it. That's our case where we get exactly one void. But remember, we're being asked for the probability. So the probability that we get exactly one void so the probability of E1 is equal to E1 divided by 104 choose 13. And just like I mentioned before, 104 choose 13 is the number of ways you can pick 13 cards from 104 cards. And that's the entire space we have. Alright, so if you calculate that, you'll get the answer. And I hope this video made some sense. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.